Hi Capricorn, welcome to your July 2023 Love and Relationships reading. Thanks for joining me. My name's Michelle and this is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Capricorn, my uh, beautiful Earth sign of Capricorn. Let's see, I'm going to be doing a dual reading today. One side will be you, the other side will be your person of interest. And of course it's a general reading so you get to decide uh, which side is which. One side will resonate as you, the other your person of interest. Now if this isn't your reading today, feel free to check out your other sign placements here on the channel for messages that may be there for you. So Capricorn, I've been meditating on these cards prior to coming online so let's get, uh, let's get started with the reading. <coughs> Don't forget to press that thumbs up button guys if you like these you versus them style readings. I'm in the decision phase at the moment whether or not to, to keep them on my channel or to go uh, with something else. So if you enjoy these style readings uh, then please do let me know because you know guys uh, if I don't get the, the views here, if, if nobody says anything, uh, if everyone just keeps mum and, and stays quiet. Uh, I um, and they don't get the views I assume that the people are, are not interested in watching them and that makes me question well should I even bother with these these readings so uh, please do press that thumbs up and leave me a comment down below if you enjoy these star readings here on my channel so let's have a look here guys at your person of interest Capricorn's person of interest for the month of July 2023 what's going on with them okay now this could be a, uh, a lover potential lover a spouse could be a friend family member colleague uh, anyone really that that's uh, that's in your energetic field I leave these completely open because it is about all kinds of love here not just uh, romantic but uh, uh, platonic love as well okay so let's take a look here guys uh, Capricorn let's get your energy now as I said uh, feel free to flip this out if one side resonates with you more than the other so let's see oh that's uh, my camera angles a bit off there there we go all right let's see what is Capricorn's energy please for the month of July for the earth sign of Capricorn okay Oh, you know, I feel compelled to pick those two because they kind of came apart or came adrift together. Let's just say that. Coming adrift. <laughs> well, maybe, maybe there's something to that. Something's coming adrift. And I see this cat here. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Making it up as you go along. Well, you know, sometimes that's the way life goes, right? The best laid plans kind of go adrift and you're just making it up as you go along just go on just go on with what comes your way yeah improvising as, as you go hmm. all right now Capricorn that could be you it could be the other person now let, let's see what is the other person's energy here in this reading for this reading for Capricorn Ooh, okay so you're over here just making making shit up basically <laughs> and uh, pardon the language but that's how it's coming through to me and uh, this other person is um, in hermit mode okay now what's connecting the two of you doesn't seem to be a whole lot at the present time but let's let's have a look what is the connection here guys what is the connection between these two? Okay. Oh. All right. Well, mm -hmm. over on your side, Capricorn, especially if you're, uh, if you are a feminine energy. Now, again, it's not gender specific. So, however you, uh, however you are uh, identifying, if you're the more feminine energy here. I get this as not really knowing 
like well no you do you, the thing is we can't label ourselves because the truth is if we're, we're many things we're not just one thing uh, let's just say we, we have had a child or we have children uh, does that mean that we're a mother and that's it no no we have we're, we're well-rounded we have other things in our, in our life now they may take a back seat while our children are very small but at some point in our lives it's it, the the more authentic you that 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 you before you had children or before you had family or commitments or something like that tends to come out and, and i get i get this energy here of being in between you know you you could be a wife a mother but also also you see yourself as someone who has your own dreams goals aspirations as well so multifaceted as a as, as all humans are and um yeah not not just labeled as one thing you know capricorn some people may look at you and label you as oh that person is that but you're not you you, you you're multiple things at, at once and i don't think you label yourself now this person over here i think is the one that's labeling you because if you look at this figure well, let me try and get that closer to the camera you'll see how this this what's well, the jester or the fool here is um stepping back from the flames or stepping back from the fire you know so he doesn't get his uh, fingers and toes burned there so there's a this person is being very cautious because they um i feel that they have labeled you or mislabeled you as as one thing whereas in reality you meant you many things capricorn <coughs> so let's dive deeper the queen of swords in reverse now this is coming up as you and it's coming up as my more feminine energy over on this side <sighs> unclear as I said there's this energy of just making it up as you go along you know because there's uncertainty around you at the moment uncertainty about your direction I'm getting a little bit of um, okay Capricorn um, now again this is perception I'm not saying that this is you or that this is the truth this is a perception of this other person okay so let me make that clear this is not who you are now they have seem to have labeled you as someone who I really don't I, can I just say I, I'm not really liking this person's energy because the way that this person has perceived you is just it's like they've gotten it so wrong Capricorn so wrong that they, they see you as someone who is is not a deep thinker and that couldn't be further from the truth now you you are someone who is both serious and playful you are very as i said multifaceted and this person has put you in like a camp here where, where they where they have labeled you as as something that they are fearful of okay it, it's an excuse i feel like this person has, has is using this perception of you as an excuse not to come forward or not to open up or not to be vulnerable okay mm. yeah, that's what i mean and uh, i don't think that you you've done anything to provoke this person or anything like that i actually feel that you're not even really talking to this person over on this side we've got the magician this person may have a lot of earth or or even gemini in their chart uh, earth and air earth and air 
they over, they tend to overthink things rather than just go with their feelings. I think if they went with their feelings, they would they would get involved with you or they would come forward here, Capricorn. But the fact is, they're they're overthinking this. They are. But the, in this solitude, they have, believe it or not, manifested you. You are in this person's life or around them in some capacity for a reason. It's because they've conjured you up. They've literally manifested you. But then once they have, they go, oh, well, no, oh, well, no I've got to step away from this. And they seem to be keeping you at a distance here Capricorn yeah strength in reverse you know you seem to be at a point in your life here Capricorn where, where, where you're struggling you are you're struggling with, with a choice, struggling with a, a decision. You don't know which way to go. You're kind of doing things on the fly. <sighs> yeah. This person, the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, they've conjured up this opportunity for you but they're not they're not taking it they're not taking the opportunity and in the future energy we've got the star okay all right so i feel that capricorn you're at a time in your life where you're not really going too much with your thoughts you're trying not to overthink things rather you you're, you're you're more being guided by your instincts, by your intuition. You're, you're letting the universe guide you. You're letting signs guide you. Because I think, to be honest with you, Capricorn, it feels like you're a bit tired of... And you're, well, you're tired, yes, and, and you're tired of thinking about which direction your life is going. So rather than think, think things through too much, you... You're becoming a little bit impatient with the, with your thought process, and you're you're going more with your gut. You know, impro improvisation. Mm, okay. And this person has the nine of wands, so they're, they're again with this massive guard around them. They've conjured you up. They have, and and you're there. The opportunity is there. Uh, to be with you, to, to have something with you, to start something with you, but they're not taking it. They're not taking it. They, they feel like they need to prevent a problem. They, they, seem, they seem to feel that you, you are some kind of problem in their life. Again, I, I don't see that, uh, that as truth, but that's their perception. How you see them the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. Well, you see them as, as far too serious. Uh, you see them working uh, a lot. Uh, you, you, you see them as someone who uh, certainly isn't working on a, any kind of connection with you, but you, you do seem to see them uh, working a lot. Now, I feel that that's their job, their occupation, their business, whatever they do for a living. Uh, they seem to be very focused on their money. <coughs> How they see you, the Five of Pentacles. <sighs> this person is on the outskirts of your life. Uh, they, they just kind of there on the sidelines, watching, but not getting involved. Hmm. What's hidden? The Eight of Cups in reverse. So we've got... Uh, We've got two eights here, both in the reverse, so... Oh, okay. 
this person likes their solitude they do um, they're a bit of a loner Capricorn um, I'm picking up a, a, that this person likes their solitude uh, they don't like to get involved with people um, they're not an overly friendly type of individual uh, they are lonely though I do get them feeling quite lonely and this person seems to be they, they know you they watch you from a distance they may have even seen you go through phase a phase of your life when perhaps when you were, were married or um, uh, in, in a, with a family or something like that and, and now they're now they seem to be seeing you again I don't like this person's energy I'll tell you the reason why I feel like they they they, they, they do not they do not value human relationships and, and that's what I don't like about this person now you could be thinking well why are they manifesting a relationship or manifesting human contact if they don't even like it it's a good question guys and I hope that we get the answer to that during this reading What's so hidden over here is the Five of Wands in reverse. Okay, well, this, this person seems to be very much at war in their own mind. They seem to think that, they're, that if they came towards you, that it would be too much, that it would lead to drama, uh, drama that they don't want. Uh, this person feels a lack. Uh, so if they think that someone else is around you I feel that this person will just back off um, won't want to get involved uh, they certainly are not a fighter uh, they this person will not fight for what they want um, no not unless it's money related I mean seriously guys I feel that this person puts uh, money above everything at the present time money 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 and when it comes to sex uh, love there doesn't seem to be a whole lot of interest there I just I just have to be honest the strength is the three of cups in the reverse yeah I think here Capricorn that look there's this person over here but I think that this person is, is look I, I don't understand them to be honest because why why are they manifesting you and they have they've manifested you and and then once they do they they say well no no I don't want that well okay then I think you're walking away and I don't think that you have to wait too long before somebody else comes into your life or comes back into your life strength over here is the lovers in reverse <coughs> look I think this person does want they do want a lover they do I think that they're lonely guys but is it is it the thought of a lover that they want rather than the actual lover themselves because they've manifested you yet they're not taking the opportunity with you now the challenge for you Capricorn is the uh, the magician in reverse well yeah <laughs> um, this person Th this person is the is a challenge but you know what I think at this point in your life I don't think you're looking for a challenge I think you've you've been dealing with challenging people probably your entire life I think you're looking for something easier someone who uh, appreciates you someone who uh, shows you that they're interested this person's not showing you anything they're over here 
on the periphery, staying clear of you. And their challenge is the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. That's you, Capricorn. This person is being challenged to see you in, a, in, in the reality. Rather than what they're conjuring up in their mind, which is not even truth. It's like they've, they've, they've given themselves all these excuses which are not real. Like, oh no, I can't, I don't want to be with that person because they're... I don't, look, I don't know what they're thinking. They, they seem to think that you are perhaps not stable, uh, that you're needy, that, um, that you are uh, someone who is flaky, flighty, superficial. Um, look, they, they've given themselves all of these reasons to keep you at arm's length. But they don't know you and they don't know you really, truly who you are. It's like they've just seemed to be projecting, probably from past experiences, past with, lo with lovers of the past, who you are. When really, this is who you are, the Queen of Pentacles. I mean, you, you're the, the total package here. You've got everything that this person could wish for. But the, somehow the, they've conjured up, they've conjured you up and said, okay, well, I want someone with all of these qualities. You have them, but they're refusing to, to acknowledge them. And they seem to have painted you in, in, all, in all the wrong colours. Okay. In your environment, we've got the Ten of Wands in the reverse. So why? You know, look, I think you're just going to give up. I think you, you... There was some level of interest here that you picked up from this person at some point. And so you thought, okay, well, you know, I'll give this, this person a try. But they are so frustrating because I feel that they show an interest one minute and then they ghost, alienate unfriend, hide, go running away. So what are you going to do with that? Well the answer is nothing because I feel like you, you're tired. You're tired of, of dealing with people who are acting weird and this person is acting weird. In their environment we've got the two of pentacles in the reverse. Well yeah this i feel that this is you making this choice i said right at the beginning there capricorn where at the moment you're you're in two minds about a, a certain path in life it's not that you're wishy-washy it's just that you're you're kind of in, in this in-between stage where, where you're kind of you're waiting for the feeling and you guys will know the feeling of, of that feeling when you know when you know when you're sure of the path that you want to follow but you seem to be in an in-between stage at the moment not sure you're not sure some of you are not sure whether or not you want to, to be um, uh, you see yourself as someone settled down or if you if you want to go out and play the field be independent no. and you're just kind of playing two sides here to see which one feels best at the present time and this this person is is scared of um, you scared of the comp scared of competition for you your advice it's the Knight of Swords. Yeah, I think you. I think you. Yeah. Um, <coughs> I think you're waiting for like your partner in crime. You know, th that's what it feels like. Like at the moment, you seem to be single. 
in this in-between stage not really sure of the path you want to go down like you you're okay being single but you're thinking oh, well I'd really prefer to be in a relationship but I don't know if that's the right road for me and so you're just kind of playing things out at the moment seeing how things work it's very frustrating and I feel like you're waiting waiting to see what comes your way uh, intuitively speaking you may be picking up that something is coming your way uh, I don't want to say like a rescuer but it, it, it kind of feels that way with this knight of swords uh, rescue rescue Hmm. Mainly, maybe because you're tired of thinking. You know, it, it, it happens, Capricorn. Especially if you've been responsible for your decision making. At some at some point, you'd just like someone to just take the wheel, right? So it may be that you're you're asking the universe for someone to step in to take the wheel for a bit because you're you're tired. Could be that doesn't have to be a person either it could be literally the universe taking the wheel for you and you just going along for the ride because I get a sense of exhaustion guys like there's only so much you can handle before the, the brain kind of mm, I don't want to say shuts down but it feels like it needs rest it needs rest now advice for this other person is the three of wands in the reverse Okay. It feels like um, thinking, rethinking about uh, about what the, what they want here, but, um, because they seem to have manifested the opportunity to be with you. Um, I think they're being asked to. okay proceed proceed slowly that's what what my spirit guide just came in with a very clear message this person is being asked by the universe to proceed to go ahead towards you Capricorn but slowly okay so that could be your key here if, if this person's being kind of skittish or standoffish or is as retreated i feel that they will come back around but they are you have to treat them with kid gloves at the present time they're skittish they're scared but and and they're scared of i feel that they want this with you they, they want to be lovers but they but they also are frightened so what do you do with someone who's frightened think of it as like a frightened child uh do you do you do you scare that child even more no that's going to traumatize them so i think you have to kind of just treat them very very gently um don't put anything much on them again yeah, but the thing is I don't know guys it's up to you I mean uh, I get it's 50 50 for some of you, you you're going to give this person a chance and open, leave the door open for them for them to come back when, when they're more ready uh, when they've got to, when they've got a little bit of um, I want to say strength more strength behind them because they just don't feel that there's something that they don't feel good enough about themselves and they they seem to be projecting rather than admit that to themselves they seem to be projecting some kind of negative aspect of your personality blowing it up and making it as an excuse to stay away from you where it's it's yeah it's just a uh, it's it's an excuse guys something something that they've given to themselves to um, 
for them to turn this this offer down but I feel I feel like this person is going to come back around but again it's up to you uh, whether or not you leave the door open for this person or not and, and we'll talk about this more in the extended reading I hope that you join me there the link is down below in the descriptions box Capricorn it'll be about a 25 to 30 minute reading the thing I don't like about this person is that they are that they've judged you harshly where they haven't judged themselves they need to look at themselves um, and why they've judged you um, harshly here uh, because I feel like it's it's unwarranted this judgment so I'm going to leave it there we'll talk about it more in the extended if you'd prefer a personal reading you can email me gypsyinsights at gmail.com or you can go to my Etsy store and purchase directly the link is down below I am offering a special at the moment a, yeah, a quick 15 minute recorded reading on one question just a very simple like question um, and you have to email me for that it's $25 so if you're interested gypsyinsights at gmail.com before I go I will pull a card from this deck here Capricorn victim consciousness yeah I think that that's this person has, has been <sighs> They don't. They don't trust this. They. Don't, they don't. They've manifested it, but they don't trust it because they've been in this victim mindset for quite some time. Yeah, and, and they seem to be looking for excuses to to keep themselves in that victim consciousness as well, which is what I don't like. So we'll talk about this more again in the extended. If this is your story, Capricorn, please do join me. The link is down below. Thank you again. Don't forget to press that thumbs up button, guys, to make sure that I, uh, I, I'm aware that you want these readings that, and that you want me to continue doing them for the signs. I thank you so much for watching. Please take care and bye for now, Capricorn. I'll see you in part two.